I'm trying to be reasonable here. I think that every copy of Minecraft should be taken and buried in that pit with uh, the old E.T. games. Which have been recently dug up. Yes, which is a real thing and not a myth anymore. Yeah. 90 seconds. No, we already started. <laughs> no countdown. It's recording live now. Hey guys, Steve Gutowski here. Uh, back with another episode of Games and Guns with the lovely Brandon Morris of Misfit Politics. How hey, are you doing, Brandon? What's going on? Not much. We're going to play some more Titanfall because there's only we two options to play on Xbox One. So We were going to play Ghost, and they were like, 2.5 worth of... You know, gigs yeah. worth of memory needs to be downloaded for this game before you can play it again. So right, we were going to try to play Ghost, but the the old update bug problem the update bug. thing jumped on no. us, and we two and a half gigabytes to play. So it's going to download for another couple hours because I have DSL here. No, we just figured we'd go on and play Titanfall instead of waiting and figure out when the hell we were going to be able to play Ghosts. Which is a much better game than Ghosts, anyway. I mean, I don't know. It's better. It's, it's better. Different. No, it's better. Well, Steve, it's you, Steven. It's better. Say it. <clears throat> it's not better. I will read through this. It's not better. Oh, it's, you're sucking. I mean, they both. Su I don't yeah, know. Uh, I don't know anymore. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, got better mechanics. Game mechanics are better, but it's a much shallower game. I mean, I haven't played this game in three weeks and there's nothing new under the sun in here. It's okay. It's the same thing. Games only been out for like, you know, They basically, months. they created like the best game mechanics to date and they said, let's, and they created some robots and mm -hmm. then they said, let's just throw that out as a game. We won't finish the rest of it. We don't need all that other stuff. We don't need different game modes. We don't need any real customization we're just gonna go for it this is it and then people paid sixty dollars for it like me and here we are sitting how many months later it's still nothing different and the only person not enjoying it is, is you. everyone is you it gets very very repetitive and boring after a while after you know what's not repetitive and while. boring though what minecraft minecraft yeah. anything can happen in that game Anything can happen that you've never played. Don't let them take our Anything, if you're willing to build it one block at a time <laughs> for the rest of your life. It's like a digital erector set. Like, what's the point of Minecraft? So you start out with nothing, and um, the whole point of the game is basically to build from scratch, uh -huh. like you know, pretty much anything you want, and you can do that by. Uh, tunneling underground and like you know gathering resources uh, uh -huh. you need like all sorts of resources like you can gather stone wood um, I just got shot in the face uh, that's a resource. Gold, uh, gold diamonds like you know just different things that you that you can use to uh, craft other things you know if you you know you get iron you can harvest iron and uh, through that iron you can make like pickaxes and shovels and stuff that can help you and it's really cool um, but so yeah, you're saying you're describing something that sounds really boring to me. I don't know. How does that? How is that boring? I this, you want to like relive the life of a 16th century miner or something? Like I don't why. To piss you off. Anything. What's awesome is that like in this game, people just build the most amazing stuff. People have made like entire real life cathedrals on a one to one scale. Uh, two people did like the Starship Enterprise. Entire communities of people will get together and like just create villages. So it's a pretty right. amazing game. It's done some pretty amazing things. That just sounds like Second Life with worse graphics. It's nothing like Second Life because Second Life is all. But what you just described is Second Life. No, but you're not like, you don't, it's all, it's all not about like living a life there. It's, you know, building things, just, you know, that's what it's about. But what's awesome is like, uh, recently the Danish, uh, I, they built like their country, right, in Minecraft. Yeah. On and, one to one scale, they used taxpayer dollars to build an exact replica of Danish. I hate those countries where the 
what you call them is not anything similar to what the country's actual name is. It's like, why? Why do you do that? Is it, is it, it's Dutch, right? It's, it's yeah. Like, English Dutch. Dutch? Dutch? Is that, I don't even know. I think, I've actually never, not one time, put any thought into this. Mm -hmm. The Danish, but, from Daneland. <laughs> the only, see they wasted a bunch of tax dollars building a one-to-one -one replica, and not to mention tax dollars, but people's lives. Whoever was building this, like that's a complete waste of your entire life. Of all the effort that you put into that, huge waste. Of all the why, things. Why would you build a one-to-one -one replica of a country inside of a video game like Minecraft? It tells me that they're a bored, bored country. Apparently a bunch of people went in there to this Danish Minecraft country and like utterly destroyed it and like planted well, what, American flags and like... Yeah, that's the only upside to this entire story is that enterprising uh, Minecrafters, American Minecrafters, went and invaded the one-to-one -one real life uh, model of Daneland or Dutch wherever of the Danaria and and uh, destroyed it with American Minecraft tanks and put <laughs> American flags everywhere and that's at least so at least all that tax money that went towards this stupid thing mm -hmm. uh, ended with some enjoyment for for everyone everyone yeah. <laughs> Even the Dutch weren't upset. The only people well, that were upset were like whiny liberals. The Dutch were just like, were like oh. Rrr, rrr, rrr. <laughs> you got us. Why did you do that to the Dutch? It's so mean of you. Okay, okay. Like, they deserve to have it done to them when they're, they're wasting their own tax dollars on Minecraft projects. This is the only reason I would ever consider playing Minecraft. To, to invade, invade other, invade other, other big, countries. Other countries. Like, just to show them how stupid their uh, waste of taxpayer dollars is. And to show them how much better America is. Yeah. Yeah. Until we start building our own stupid taxpayer funded recreations of America, which <laughs> under this administration is bound to happen eventually. Bingo! Dash cool. That was the only interesting thing to ever happen, to ever come out of Minecraft, is our, <clears throat> our country's inadvertent invasion of the Dutch. That and everything else I, I talked about before that. No, none of those things. How did, how did, how are you not impressed? I mean, I guess, I get that it's hard or whatever, it's a big model of building for me to... Like, it's super creative stuff. Yes. Yeah, I guess it takes a lot of effort, but to me, like the finished product is just is still as stupid as the rest of the game. So you haven't even played the game. Yeah, but I've seen the game play. It's, over, guys. it's you all you need. No, you don't. <laughs> there are certain games you can Look, say that with, but with Minecraft, it's one of those things that you have to experience. I just like every, think if, that even if you are not a gamer, people love Minecraft. <clears throat> In my it's opinion, like the most famous like all-time successful games I think everything in gaming right now at this very moment is pretty terrible I don't see anything at this second that I actually am happy about I think the Xbox I think One you just I get, sourpuss that's what I think <laughs> I just get <clears throat> more and more you're like droopy <laughs> like what <laughs> why is everything so bad <laughs> <laughs> the longer I have the Xbox One, the more disappointing it is. I mean, this the UI in this this system is barely navigable. I don't like my Xbox One. It doesn't have any games. There's it doesn't I have have three any games game. for the freaking thing, and <laughs> one of them's like a half finished beta. That's what this is. Ghosts is like every other Call of Duty that's ever existed. Are you excited about Destiny at all? I mean, people. I know that you're very excited about Destiny. Um, yeah. Well, first of all, first of all, let me say that I'm talking about what's available right now. I think the next few months, everything in gaming sucks. There's one game that we talked about before that I actually am excited about, mm -hmm. which is uh, The Division. 
that looks yeah. really great. That actually looks like a next gen game, mm -hmm. full next gen game. You know, there's other possible things that could be good. Like, I mean, that's what Destiny looks like to me. I guess it could be good. Every every gameplay video I've seen of it looks really, really generic and boring. The Division and Destiny are pretty much, you know, the same type of game. I'll be honest with you, I'm probably a little bit more excited about the Division. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Bungie has pleasantly surprised me more than once. More so than once? What, what other than Halo? What has Bungie done? Halo. I mean, like, like when I thought it was yeah, yeah. boring, like, or bad, like, it just ended up being really, really fun. Like, their multiplayer has always been wonderful. Of course. You know? Halo. Even the very, like, universe they created around Halo was just so expansive and cool that, you know... Well, yeah, except you're the bad guy, basically. <laughs> For that reference, go back to other episodes yes. of Gun Game Guns. You can Guns. watch my video on, <laughs> on talks about why how UNSC is basically yeah. like the Nazi party. Halo's great, and I, it would be great if there was a Halo for <laughs> this system. Of course, there isn't. But we have a video of Master Chief walking in the desert like a monk, but other than that, we got nothing. And probably won't have anything for a long, long time. Like, from, Halo, from the Halo universe? Yeah. Well, I, not from the Halo universe, from a real Halo game. Yeah, so right, Bungie made the Halo, so that could, Destiny could be good because of that. But I just, I look at it and, whoa. Oh, we were playing last time. Yeah, it was, I, I didn't realize we were playing oh, last time. <laughs> Whoops! Uh, but the Division looks sweet, though. The like, Division looks incredible. Yeah, and I would really like to see... Uh, and I look forward to that, but right now, there's nothing going on in gaming that's any good. Um, I mean, I don't have a PS4, so... But even that, you still can't even... You can't even capture video from that yet, even though they keep saying that eventually you'll be able to. Well, like, once again, let's keep in mind that these are still kind of baby systems, you know, like... Yeah, but how long have each of them been out? I know I've had this thing for quite a while now. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm just stuck here. Where's yeah. everyone else? Why am I by myself? <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of in the same boat. Oh, there we go. Uh, gonna kill your face off. Take it down. I'm gonna oh, please don't shoot him anymore. Please don't shoot him anymore. That's not. Mm. Oh, I missed. Yeah, punch him. Punch him. Shoot him. Punch him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Guns. Oh, we're the only two left, and everyone is here. here. Especially since you're in the show, dude. To the last! last one, I think. To the last! Oh, God. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we did not do so well on that. Right now, there's just nothing. I just think it's... The Xbox One is terrible. Even with the Kinect, which I don't have hooked up right now. Which you, I know you like that a lot. I don't, even when it's hooked up, half the time it doesn't work. I mean, it's just like anything else that's voice controlled these days. It's like... I mean, it's getting better, but it's still not great. I think, uh... I still think the way you navigate... I think the Xbox 360 is a thousand times easier to navigate, and it's got a thousand more... It, it does a lot more stuff that's useful. It's almost a decade old. Yeah, exactly! <laughs> that's exactly my point. Sometimes change is hard for Steven. No, it's just... I would be happy if the system didn't suck. Let's crash behind this rock before someone kills me. The only thing I hear about the PS4 thing is good either. What should I be excited about? Oh, I guess that was the last one killed that time. The last one to lose. Switching sides. So, huh. maybe this is maybe this is the gaming industry just you know trying to get people off the uh, the gaming binge. <laughs> By sucking. They don't want us to become Japan because Japan's become really weird with their games. Like <laughs> really weird. This is the, by making everything suck. <laughs> we will stuff. not reduce ourselves to dating virtual women. The Japanese people are, are, are kind of not necessarily dying off, but I mean like there there's no more romance there anymore. Like it's kind of all digital or fake. Like they have special shops you can go into where like someone will cuddle with you for like an hour and then like you know, you leave. Oh. Not sex, mind you. Not sex, oh, just cuddle. We lost. Fall back yeah. to base. Thanks for sharing that horribly 
disgusting story with this. Hey, I'm just trying to put two and two together, man. I think the video game industry might be trying to save our lives. By by being absolutely awful. I guess <laughs> I guess that's a very positive at least, way at of least for you. I'm spinning you, this. You should be the excited. terribleness of everything. It's just God, it's just terrible. Everything sucks. Everything in this industry is terrible now. I think we should give up on it. Let's bring back those little hoops that you roll on the ground with, and the, with the stick. Let's bring that back. It'd be so much better than playing Titanfall, the same three uh, game types for the rest of my life. Let's start a, a renaissance movement of stick stick hoop. Let's <laughs> stick hoop. Stick hoop. It's the only innovation you know, in gaming that I've seen lately that looks any like any fun is uh, Goat Simulator. That looks freaking hilarious. <laughs> it looks so stupid. That's like, that's where we're at, where Goat Simulator is getting a lot of buzz. There's nothing wrong with that. I think it's hilarious. The Dutch are building replicas of their stupid country and inside of, video, and inside of Minecraft and people are excited about Goat Simulators. That's where we're at in gaming right now. That's that perfectly sums up what what gaming in 2014 is like. And I'm stuck here waiting for Titanfall, saying saying to myself over and over again, "Look, I'm sure an update with something new and interesting is coming soon. Something that makes the game more than just sixty dollars for a beta. Something's coming." And I just keep repeating it to myself over and over again, but nothing, nothing materializes. And I weep at night because of that. Keeps you up at night? No, it keeps me up weeping. That's how That's I baby now. Like that Old Spice commercial with the mothers crying. Mm -hmm. Except it's me looking at my Xbox One. Looking at the interface trying to figure out how to invite people to a party anymore. Oh, I gotta... Disclaimer. I gotta go out of the game. Nothing as bad as Steven Gutowski says it is, folks. Okay. He's a sourpuss. Mm. There you go, out of the game. And then I click on this. And then I... Click five more things and then go back into the and then I go wait go back out to unsnap, whatever the hell. Why the hell snapping is even a thing? Beyond me, stupid. <clears throat> and then I get it and then go back into the game and then Titanfall says, "Oh hey, you can't sit in the lobby without doing anything for more than two minutes." So we kicked you out. You have to start the whole freaking process over again. Also, you can play attrition the five billion plan with nothing new or interesting. Bro! Dude, come on, man. Killing me over here. I'm just I'm just enlightening you to the horribleness of the, the world that is modern gaming. New new uh, consoles are like half the power of ten year old systems. It's just everything is wait, 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 what kind of game would you like to play, Steven? I'll play the division when it comes out in three years. Watch Dogs looks boring. There's some peeps to at least shoot out, take out my frustration. I killed a stupid AI character. Because this is a game from 1998 that I'm playing on the N64. And at the end of my rip, Brandon, everything sucks. I'm, I'm playing on the next gen console the best multiplayer game that it has to offer and all I'm seeing are stupid AI characters. What do you think about the new Call of Duty since that's a thing and you should talk about it? The, the one thing that like I pulled from it was like Kevin Spacey is a bad guy again. Yeah, Kevin Spacey's always a bad guy. Yeah, but Call of Yeah, it's like House of Cards in the future with robots or not yeah, an exoskeleton. It's basically Call of Duty plus My brother and I, like we've kind of gotten to a point where we're just like... Invisible guy. Die, Mr. Invisible. We're like, we don't really play Call of Duty online anymore because it's, you know, I don't know, we just kind of got tired of it. But the single player for Call of Duty, like all their campaigns, you know, I love playing those. I think those are awesome. They always have these great storylines and these like really huge dramatic action moments. I thought the last campaign was really stupid. I, I didn't think it was Ghost? the greatest one either, to be honest with you. The, uh, the super weapon? This is my cousin. Is less powerful yeah, man. Hey! Hey, Welcome can you show me, can, between the two of y'all, can y'all explain to me what happens in the campaign on Ghost? Because <laughs> I haven't played it yet, but I want to know. It's, it's actually really dumb. Basically, it's slightly in the future, like, every single freaking 
first person shooter is these days. Somehow South America becomes the super, even though they're like our main rivals in the world, we decide that we're going to team up and build a giant space cannon with them. Jockingly, they uh, betray us in space and fight in space. You also fight underwater. Okay. Um, which are basically the exact same mechanics, but whatever. Fire the space cannons on America, and then you fight them, and that's that's the. Like I mean, it's the, the, the cannons gimmick, that I guess, is that you're like a super special forces called the ghosts. Yeah, like which are, which look cool. I agree with that actually. They look and you're cool. so you you fight the Federation guys. Yeah. Okay. And, Pretty, I mean, well, you, and you fight like one of your guys who was turned by the Federation. Yeah, in fact, here's, did, did he not look like the guy from Coach? Yeah, he does. What's his name? But I couldn't. That's the what? I think that's the one problem. Main I, guy. Yeah, the main bad guy. Like, yeah, Rourke. like, yeah, like he. The the one thing that I just couldn't get into for some reason was the fact that every time I saw this guy, I was like, it's Coach. Yeah, it's my <laughs> grandpa used to launch your show a lot, dude. Why are you turning on America, bro? The special weapon, the space cannon thing, yeah. was far less powerful than nuclear weapons. And so I was like, yeah, but the whole point of that, The whole point of that, though, even is exist? it's like super massively destructive, but instead there's no nuclear fallout. I just thought that part was really stupid. It was all right. I'm sure the next one, and the next one looks like it's going to be all right. It looks it, it looks so much like a Titanfall ripoff, though. Well, I don't know. I mean, like, they're... Double jumping, really cool the exoskeletons, concepts. they're like, hey, this Titanfall thing's pretty cool, let's make a Call of Duty around it. Let's watch you. Let's see what you do. Do you do that? Oh, you jumped in Titan. Jumping Titan. That one's already gone. Jumping in Titan. <laughs> Everything in gaming sucks, and we should stop burn it all to the ground. I think that's why well, it's something that sucks, sucks for you, because I'm having a good time. No. You should stop. Wait. I'm just gonna cut out all the all of your uplifting sentiments and uh -huh. include all of my depressing things. Okay. And that's gonna be the episode. So, <laughs> everybody, prepare <laughs> yourselves. Oh God. From now on out, the whole show is just gonna be me talking about how everything sucks. <laughs> I'm sure that'll sell a lot of people. If you become really? viral off of that for some reason, I'm gonna know that humanity has reached its end. This is gaming is terrible. It's not worth your money anymore. You should take your systems outside and smash them. I gave I gave this Xbox One a chance, but now I think it's better served as like maybe a, maybe a the biggest cry desk baby lamp, like a crappy desk lamp because only the only the Xbox thing lights up. But <laughs> I'll see you later, gonna, Steve. I'm just gonna throw it out the window once we're done. Okay. So have fun with that. <laughs> All right. Thanks. I'll. Yeah. Uh, We'll see you guys next time. Later.